Nose hair. Tweezers. What do you mean? Tweezers. Who never had any tweezers? Well, get some pliers then. <laughs> <sighs> Doesn't matter how much pheromone I put on, if some bird sees that coming out of out of the dark, she's likely to pull on it and expect the butler to come in. <laughs> there we go. Which one is it? It's the third one on the left. Brace <laughs> yourself, please. Because this might make your eyes water. <laughs> frustrations on each other, we can take them out on them. Okay? Okay. Okay. Come on. Let's shake and make up. <laughs> Great guy. <Great. laughs> That's it. I'm off. You stay where you are, mate. No, I'm afraid I'm on my way. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Mate. Mate? Mate? Heavy. You killed him. I never touched him. Give yeah, it the frying pan did, didn't it? You were touching that at the time. Bollocks, you killed him. He was dead before he hit the ground. Well then why'd you keep hitting him with the frying pan? For fun. <laughs> Been a good little boy. And this is for it. <laughs> Enough said. Right, where's the sherry? Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Typical. <gasps> Never mind. Sweet dreams, little boy. Hoo hoo hoo! <laughs> ha ha ha! <laughs> but look, I've got a packet of chocolate hobnobs. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, 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 Eddie, we're saved. What do you mean, we? <laughs> I'm all right. I don't fancy your chances much. <laughs> oh, have a heart, Eddie. It's your old pal here, Richie. Oh, Dutty, bugger off. <laughs> <laughs>
give a word, is you never were in a Falklands. Ah. So you don't believe me, eh? <laughs> right. Take a look at this. Oh, I'd rather not. Oh, come on! <laughs> What's that? Well, it looks like a very small penis. <laughs> Well, it's an appendix scar. Yes, an appendix scar. And how do you think I got that? Well, from an operation to remove your appendix. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, that's where an RG took my appendix out with his bayonet. <laughs> I don't believe a word is. In fact, I don't believe it so much, I'm going to smash your face in. <laughs> I'd like to see you try, hop along. Ah, good, because you're about to. Go on, give him one. All right, I will. All right, let's see you try, Buster. <sighs> Eddie, hold me back. Um, I can't. I'm very busy drinking. What? <laughs> right, this time, this time, Buster. All right, oh. that's enough, you two. Now, calm down. <laughs> Lucky escape for you then, mate. Now, you, it's on the management. What would you like? Oh. Sexual favours now, is it? No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? What's wrong with me? Well, I would have thought that was patently obvious to everyone. <laughs> Is violence. And I'm smashing his face in, and we haven't got one. Well, that's where he's wrong, listeners, because in fact we do have a telly, and here it is. <laughs> well, where did that come from? It was behind the fridge all the time. I hid it when the chaps from Rumbelows came round. Well, why didn't you tell me? I could have been watching television all night. Well, I don't know. I thought it'd be interesting, you know, to spend an evening without the telly for once. We could chat a bit more. You know, it's good for our relationship to get a bit of interaction going. Well, if it's interaction you want, cop a load of this, matey. 